Hello, today we are looking at the Pivi Pro system in the Jaguar I-Pace model year 21. So if you're looking to get a new Jaguar I-Pace, it will have the latest software. It's called Pivi Pro. So Pivi Pro is Jaguar's new software that they're using inside their cars. Um, it used to be Touch Pro Duo, which was really good. Um, however, Pivi Pro is now the new thing. So I'm just going to show you briefly inside the car the new update of Pivi Pro. There will be more videos and please do comment on something that you want um, information on. Um, I tend to be quite quick at getting back to you and I can make more videos on stuff you might want. Anyway, the Jaguar I-Pace says 254 range. So we've got 254 miles of range. Just remember when you, or if you do order an I-Pace or, or buy one used, just remember what the size of the wheels are because that will make an impact on your range. Anyway, enough about that and more about the Pivi Pro. So this is the Pivi Pro system. We've got 4G here. So with the Jaguar I-Pace, you will get a tracker. That's included with your Jaguar, which is great, free of charge. Uh, we are paying a lot of money for it, I suppose. Um, you're getting 4G, so Pivi Pro are giving you data for the first year. Uh, and you will also get an add-on if you pay for it. So basically, if you want a free year package, you can have that. However, one year is standard. So you can have the latest um, navigation routes. You can see where everything is. You can see all the traffic. So this is Chichester. We're at Harwoods today. Um, and then you can see where the traffic's building up. Not only that, it's telling me where all the charging stations are. So I'm a bit worried about the charge and I need to get somewhere. Well, I can tap one of these if I tap it properly. Um, let's tap that one there. There we go. So this is actually the train station. Great. Press start will take me there. So that's pretty cool. And that's all because I'm getting the data from that, um, that sim, I suppose. Um, let's go to the home screen and just start from there. So as you know, we've got the navigation. You can do a quick search by pressing this. You can take you home if you put in your home address or just look at your recent journeys. You can connect your phone and then you can look at your radio stations. So the radio stations, they've rather than having it listed one by one, they've kind of made it look a bit more funky, a bit more sleek. This is where you can add your favourite stations and then you'll change it on the steering wheel while you're driving. Um, we're going to go back to the home menu. I'm just touching base on certain areas. Again, if you want more information, let me know in the comments and then I can go into that. So, free tiles. Normally you'd swipe. And then once you've swiped, a separate screen would come up with loads of apps. Well, Pivi Pro is different. You'd have to edit can't really see let's go back here you'd have to edit it yourself and tailor it to how you want it so in an eye pace I would say you'd need EV on the home screen and maybe driving style why not let's put more on there so when I go back there's free tiles I swipe again and then I can see more information because I added it there so for example let's look at EV this is a good tab so we can look at the charging, we can precondition the car. Um, let's have a look at that actually. There we go, we can set this to precondition at certain times. Again, do download the app. The app's brilliant and it will link to this as well. So that is the EV driving styles. So you can obviously change the car. You can look at the range impact, look at some eco tips and then you can look at the history of it as well. But this car's only done 12 miles, it's a brand new car, so I wouldn't really uh, think that's too accurate. So I've added a few tiles to my home screen, and that's how I did it. I can go to settings, and then you can see everything on here, such as a quick kind of um, navigation to certain tools. You can go to the home screen. I would say, it's probably best to have it on the app icons. It just shows everything so much clearer. Look at that straight away, rather than having the chunky dials taking up the whole screen. You can pinpoint where everything is, such as EV, and then change it straight away. Let's go back to here. 
So just a quick one for Pivi Pro owners, this is having some teething problems. Um, because it's brand new, there'll be probably some software updates rolling out. Um, I personally haven't seen too much issues, but there's been some reported. So if you're having any issues, maybe with this screen or I don't know, this one down here, you can do a light reset. You can press and hold the on and off button for the touch screen. If you press and hold for 20 seconds, it will reset itself. It's a bit like closing the apps on your phone. If that hasn't sorted it, well, you can do a hard reset at home. It sounds uh, a bit more scary than it actually is. Um, it's not, it's just a simple reset. So you step out of the car, press lock twice, and you hear a beep. And then once um, that's happened, wait for this hazard light, because it's red at the moment, you can see that. Once that goes out, the car has reset itself. So if I step out the car, I was to lock it, this light would probably stay on for about two minutes, let it stay on, and then when it dies off, get back in the car, and everything should be back to normal. Myself, I've had a few issues with Bluetooth connectivity, where it just wasn't uh, pairing. Anyway, I did this and it worked straight away. So with all computers, sometimes you just need to reset it. Any more issues, then obviously speak to your main dealer, but they're two little hints to just to help. Audio settings, you can go to Meridian, um, subwoofer, bass, treble, everything you've got in Touch uh, Pro that you had had uh, previously, and then your data sim, which actually is with O2. So they're the main highlights of the Pivi Pro system. Um, if there's anything I've missed, please do let me know. Um, the Pivi Pro is a new thing, so everyone is getting used to it, myself as well. Um, big thing with the Pivi Pro as well, at the moment, there's no self-parking. So the car cannot self-park. Um, a bit odd, but there's plenty of cameras on this thing for you for yourself to park you've got 360 cameras um, but that's it i hope you enjoyed the video again any questions please do comment and i'll reply and i can simply just create other videos to help you but this is just a quick preview thanks for watching and i'll see you soon